Good morning and welcome to another episode of Manifestation Tips. So let's talk about the master plan. It's kind of useless to wonder what's in the master plan, right? It's more reasonable to try to align to it, which means align our desires, our wishes to hit. So it doesn't mean to give, a, to give up a wish because we judge it's not aligned with the master plan because first of all we don't know the master plan. Second of all everything aligns with the master plan. Everything is allowed. But there is a passage we need to, a step we need to take in order to receive the master approval, which is align our wish with the natural blueprint of the master plan. So in order to manifest, first of all we need to be aligned with spirit's blueprint or the master plan, if you want to call it like that. And that means to be aligned with our higher selves inspiration and guidance our master self which is our higher self in other words, our master self, which is already naturally aligned with the master plan, and it's part, directly part of it. It's an emanation of it, which flows directly from source. And it pours out from source reaching all the dimensions, the infinite dimensions, all the possibility of creation, all the possible worlds. And all the levels are imbued, how you say that, how you pronounce this word? Let me check, let's see. Just being curious about the pronunciation of these word let's see pronounce oh wow imbued imbued all the levers are imbued and permeated let's see sorry guys but it's no problem my language and I'm doing this in English because it's it's like that. I mean it comes like that. Permeated. Oh nice. Permeated. It's permeated. Of sources energy. All the master selves permeate the energy of the whole. <clears throat> a master self, it's a direct link to source. It's constantly, perfectly aligned with it. It's the first 
circle, circumscription, circumencryption, and it's more like that it's not really defined, but it's just a process which is which has is has begun. It started to proceed from source toward other levels of the creation. It's a sub manifestation of source, but not sub in the quality, just in the ray, just geometrically, probably doesn't matter. So, to be able to manifest a wish, first of all, we need to align our wish. Or, with our Master Self, or with the master plan directly and when I say with the master self I mean because the master self is already aligned with the master plan so we can use that and how does this happen this alignment The alignment happens in the act of releasing the wish in the hands of the master. Because this, the natural flow, the stream of source, will naturally bring it in the right here and now to be created but if we express it but don't release it so we don't detach from it we put physicality in the wish which is like a weight and he cannot fly he cannot go and be back once we once we release that and then we change our focus on something else we let the flow doing is natural process so we send it to the master self or master plan or source to source and then source receive it when already when when we feel it and then we feel it and we are filled ourselves with the fulfillment of the wish we are ready to receive once we express it we already know we receive it so we send it spirit spirit receive it receives it then 
shapes it. And the physical level deliberate. But the first step, which is also most challenging for us, which are used to attachments, is the trust in releasing it. The challenge is to entrust, entrust the ends of spirits more than our own ends. So that we can forget about. It's like when we we have a something we love so much. Let's make an example. Maybe it's not proper, but anyway, let's imagine we have a child like Abraham had a child, and spirit asked them to sacrifice the child to give it to him and then when Abram decided to accept the will of spirit trusting his requests No sacrifice happened anymore. So that's to say, if I have a child and I want to enjoy an evening with my friends, it's going to be too late for him, so I'm going to call a babysitter. I'm going to leave my child in the hands of maybe a member of my family or a, well, in the time lapse that I'm not with my child anymore, in that time lapse that I am thinking to something else that I may be uh, remembering with my friends uh, the time we were at school and uh, joking or telling tales or just uh, talking about our lives, updating each other. Well. I am free to do that because I know I left my child in hands that I can trust with all the limits about what's not up to us, what's not in our control because we can't <clears throat> we can control the stream anyway so today's tip is express your wish and put it there wish upon a star and then go to sleep and forget about completely don't bluff Don't bluff with your master self. Forget about and trust the ends of spirit, and you will see sooner than you expect, sooner than you expect your wish fulfilled. Ask and it will be given to you. But 
the correct way to ask is the one that has no attachment to what's asked asked right sorry for my pronunciation have a super nice day and morning